I am. I did the best I could, and some guy beat me. There's nothing I could do about that. You know what? It's out of my control. If every golfer had that mentality, bud, we would have people enjoying the game a lot more. We're going to talk about a couple keys for him that he's going to take with him to Pinehurst, but really today is going to be about two things. It's going to be at our process with the driver to make sure that we're lined up in the right spot, because if my man gets lined up in the right spot, bend the knees, feel the ground, make a big turn for me, big guy. When he gets lined up in the right spot with the driver, he's piping it right down the middle. So we've got a really good process that we're working on. Perfect time here. One of the things we mentioned was his process. I want you to watch this, Kev. We're taking the golf ball, and this is something that, you know, Sandin gave, really gave us great feedback at IMG. This guy stripes drives, and the only way it gets really messed up is if he doesn't take the time to aim. So what we've done here, you can go ahead and look at this logo, Kev, you can get behind it. He's done a really good job now of lining up the logo on his ball like many people do when they putt, but we're doing it for the fairway, okay? And so now he has a process he can stick to, and he has two skills right now that he's accomplished. He's got number one, the ability to line the golf ball up where he wants, and then number two, after working it, he's got the ability to line up to that line and make a swing. He's going to get in there. I like right in the middle of the green. That's where He's I'm going. He's going to square up his hips and feel the ground. Make a nice, smooth, big turn. And a high draw right down the middle. No surprise. Guy's a gamer. It's unbelievable. You're going to make a lot of people on YouTube unhappy, big guy. Hard to play championship golf. You get pins that are kind of in funky places. Yeah. It's also one of the reasons why um, the approach shot and making sure that you're always hitting to the fat side of the green, if not the middle, um, is going to be mean, really important I mean, I mean, to make Tiger our round was, effortless. I mean, Tiger Woods, like, after daily round, like, he go, he probably goes for the pin, like, twice. Otherwise, he just goes for the center of the green. But I'd say this hole is pretty attackable from this angle, definitely. Where do we want to aim for this shot? I'm like, just as a palm tree left of the pin. 100% exactly what I was thinking, right? But, but palm for, tree left of the flag. But for me, I'd go for the pin because, as you can see, the wind. You know what I call him? Yeah. The little pro. Okay, the guy's checking the wind, he's knowing what's going on, he's aware of his conditions. Okay? Also, I have a draw too. There's a ton of green to the left. There's not a lot to the right. Any player to the left of the flag is gonna make a lower score every time versus somebody to the right of the flag. So success on this shot is hopefully hitting our number, but definitely keeping that, that ball a little bit left of the flag. Um, what is the number, bud? It's 63. I, I like just right of the pin. It's okay. in total 63 yards. Let's to get the pin. narrow. Let's get close. Let's keep the lower body quiet. Okay. Let's make sure we hit this ball solid. See if it's the right number. Not bad. Pretty good. Huh. I Man. mean, that's the miss. Because you know how, like, sometimes when pros are on TV, they kind of like show their percentage of making a putt. Yep. So yeah, it's like this has a more percentage because it's uphill and I have a pretty good opportunity. All right, so we're below the flag, really good. We got a nice aggressive look up the hill. I would probably go front edge speed here, you know what I mean? I love the line you got, and guys, here's what I want you to watch. Kev's on a perfect, perfect line. Watch this guy's putter face, okay? One thing we worked on is making sure the eyes are over the golf ball. One thing we worked on is making sure we've got good ball position, okay? But this guy's putter face is what I call frozen face syndrome. It just never moves. All about a nice solid strike with good speed, bud. Great miss on the high side and perfect speed, dude. Fantastic, all right? Taking his time like a true professional, not taking anything for granted. Really easy four, we're moving on. Nice job, yes. big guy. So again, you know, consistency of process. This guy is some of the best in the game. Consistency, the awareness, right? The wind, the conditions, something that's so important, especially when you're playing at his level. We got a little breeze right now. And here's the thing, for the average player, think about this. We've got a left to right wind here. The average golfer hits what kind of shot? A left to right shot. So this, this hole right here, a par five, the average player gets up here, gets excited to give it a rip. All of a sudden they hit it right down the middle. They hit their little fade or their little slice maybe, and the and wind it hits it. And then it turns to like- And then it turns into a, a big heavy, right shot. A heavy yep, slice. Absolutely. So being aware of your conditions is really important, not even only if you're playing at a really high level like this guy, but just every day. Start behind that golf ball. Do you like where it's aimed? Yes. Okay. Take your nice smooth go walks in there. Right. You're gonna settle down. Here he is, just making point. I like that. Now yeah, with my draw, I can do it. Make a nice big smooth turn. Another high draw. I feel bad for some of those kids at Pinehurst. Kind of notice that this is more uphill, so if I hit it here, 
I take a bigger kick. So I knew that the water was on the left, and if I could have reached it, if I did that, but probably I would have been left, and but you know the what? water would have been in play. That's, That's why I'm looking at that ball lined up for you, and you have it a little bit more closer to the bunker because you're anticipating that. All right, bud, what kind of numbers you getting here? This front is about 100, the front. It's about 94, 95, 96, around there. And also, we're kind of sloping down. It kind of slopes down until I get back there. Guys are always wanting to see and get a little field of depth. So I always encourage the players to get the pin, to get the front edge. Now they know how much room they have from the front edge to the flag. It can put them on a number that's going to hit and release, or hit and spin and stop, and we can get it going much better. What's your seven iron? Uh, it goes about 105. 105. Did you get the front edge number or no? Oh, uh, yes. It's 98. 98. But that's the point is that I, I okay. as you can see, it's kind of sloping down. And if I land it there, it's just going to stick. How about the line? Kind of Where are you aiming this, Naveed? It's kind of going a bit to the right. I like just right at it, honestly. I'd go right at it. I might go to a foot or two left of it, right, just because we got a little bit more wind off the left. Nice swing there. That is true. I'd go, do you see that tree to the left of it? I like right in between that and the pin. That's perfect, bud. Okay. Tree to the left of it, right in between that tree to the left and the flag. Okay. And that draw He's going to start behind his golf ball. He's going to walk in there. He's going to get his club face aligned. Everything looks pretty darn good. You're going to feel the ground, square the hips. It's okay. Not bad, we're playing back edge. You know what, just for kicks, let's get the seven iron out. I mentioned we had 98 front edge, we're downwind, we're downhill. No. He said he hit seven iron 105. Let's give this thing a free wheel and just see what happens. Come behind it again, give me the whole process, okay? So now we got seven, we got a 105 yard club in our hand, we got 98 front edge. This to me seems really comfortable. I don't think he can hit this thing over the green. Right, and he just aimed out to the right there, but watch the distance this thing carries. Boom, that thing's going to be 10 feet above the hole right there. All right. Yeah. So a little bit of a mischoice of the club, no big deal. We're going to go get that baby up and down for birdie. What do you say? Yeah, I'll, I'll pick up I'll pick up my second one. Always got to play that first one, right? No cheating. Let's make but. sure we work off the front edge yardages. But still, I have a chip. I can make an up and down birdie. Absolutely. That's, right. Well, I got to think positive. That's the thing. Mindset. Everything's negative, you're never going to play an under on par. If you think positive, everything good happens. The old soul, guys. Let's think positive out there, okay? Let's focus on the positive. Let's not get wound up in the negative. I mean, we'll pick six. this one up. Here's our seven iron, guys. You can see he pounded that thing. It got way up in the wind, and there's no way it's getting in the bunker. You can see mm -hmm. the six iron way on the back of the green, okay? So yeah. I know he pulled that slightly, but um, club selection there, you're probably looking at an easy tap and birdie. Now he's got a little bit of work. You have to paint the picture for yourself of what's about to happen. So the picture of a chip. Mm is going to involve two things, Naveed. It's going to involve the spot your ball gets on the green. He likes it right around here. Okay, wow, that's where you're going. You're flying it there. I mean, hitting 56, it should run a little bit. Okay. At first I thought 60, but now I see this, so I have a bunch of room. And now, what kind of height are you talking about? I'm kind of going a bit high. Got to be high. Downhill. If we're flying the golf ball that far, it's got to be high, okay? Now, those things are going to lead us to our setup. Ball has to be forward, club face has to be open. Ball's forward, good, and we're hitting our spot. Came out a little bit lower, rolling a little bit more than we want. Yeah, here's what I think. I think you picked the wrong spot. There's no reason for us to fly that golf ball here when it's downhill. There's no way it can't end up there, especially when you're above the hole there, okay? So, end of the day, that was just our wrong spot. Yeah, it's okay. All right, let's see if we can roll it in, big guy. We always like to try to read the green looking up the hill, okay? Looking uphill from either direction is gonna be great. You don't really get to see too much looking down the hill. You think about reading a green like reading a book. Our eyes work well looking up. If I turn that book down and now I look, I don't get to see anything. The words blur together, okay? So I want him to always be working on getting his best read from the low side of the hole looking up, and then he's got his speed. We're going uphill, so he's gonna pretend this hole is maybe just a 12 or 18 inches past it. Oh. All right, big guy. Go clean it up, please. Do Unforced it. errors. That's what we're here to guard against. We got people in the fairway, so we can't wait. Let's see if you can knock in this par putt. A little pressure on him. Oof. Oof. All right, pick her up. Let's keep moving. I admit, that's tough to So swallow. we learned a lot that hole, right? We got to make sure we work off the front edge. We mm -hmm. got to make sure we pick better spots. We got to make sure we have better speed control. Man, right. that putt was tough to swallow. And not, worried, not worried too much about the last hole. We learned from it. We're going to move on. We're going to do something better on the next one. Okay. We got 124 pin way in the back, all the way up the hill, big guy. I like it. 
So 124 into the wind, up the hill. I mean, we can probably hit a 130 yard shot, no problem. We got wind in and off the left, okay? The tee box aims you a little bit more to the right. Anybody setting up over here on this side of the tee box has already hit it in the right fairway and missed the green. So Navid is gonna take a better angle. We're gonna get on the right side of the tee box and we're gonna hit back towards the wind, okay? Still line up though. For our line, bud, I think we gotta go between those palm trees. We're not even looking at the flag. A successful shot from here is gonna be anywhere right of the flag into the green, okay? Yep. Your little draw should be perfect to hold up against the wind. Make a nice big turn, big guy. Now we're talking. Yeah. Not doing anything different, just making sure we get all of our checkpoints, and yep. that's what we got to make sure we do for you, right? We got to mm -hmm. take our time on each yeah. shot, slow things down. And that was okay? the right club. That was the right club. Went, Absolutely, the right I, club. Went, Wonderful selection. If I went the other one, I would have been past the green having a tough chip because if I miss it past on that little slope, yep. it could go down and then another down and then off the green. Huh? That's why the on-course lessons are so good. We get to see exactly what's happening to the players. We get to see where in the process they're missing it, where they're making more hidden mistakes. He hasn't hit a lot of bad shots, but it's been a lot about decision-making. And that's one thing that every golfer can learn from is that the decisions you make, the targets you pick, the clubs you pick, those are automatically lowering your score and saving you shots if you're doing it right. Okay. All right, Naveed, so tell me this. If um, this were a flat putt, or if we were going to put the hole somewhere else instead of where it is for distance, where would we want to put it? Right? Distance-wise with this wind, <coughs> I like... Yeah, just a couple feet past, okay? We got a huge I mean, tier over the there. Wind. We got the wind, too. We got a huge tier. We got a huge hill here. We got We've got to try to hit this putt a little bit past. It's probably going to be slow. I gotta take a bigger backswing and not much speed. The bigger backswing and the softer strike. We don't want any of that power or speed in the putts. We want the club to do all of the work. Hey, bud. Mm -hmm. Say thanks, everybody, for watching. Thank Guys, you. Naveed, quite a sport. Thank you so much for letting us in on your playing lesson today. Okay, You're it was welcome. awesome. We're all gonna be rooting for you at the U.S. Kids. Give it up. Okay? Guys, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Let us know what you think of Naveed's game, and we'll keep you posted on how he does.